Hi, this is Przemek Hojecki and you watch my YouTube channel. Uh, this is another video in the series of reactions to different YouTube channels about data science and machine learning. And this time I'll be talking about Sendex. This is a really cool channel, um, both for beginners and experts. Uh, and it's really, really great because Sendex is actually explaining things really clearly. Uh, he's programming live, uh, often showing uh, different cool stuff, both for beginners and more advanced uh, Python users. Uh, so it's really, really fantastic. Let's have some of the examples here. So he has already like a lot of subscribers, a lot of uh, views on most of his channel. Uh, but let's see some of what he did. Uh, already. So this one is uh, about functions. It's really basic and yeah, let's What's see. What's going on everybody and welcome to part six of the Python 3 basic series. In this part what we're going to be talking about is functions. So we can use functions to help us kind of consolidate code into one area that we might intend to use in many areas or many other even like different Python scripts even. Later we could like import it. Um, and, and when you when you see something like what we have here, where you know we want to, you know, initially define the game map, then we want to come down here and we want to display the game map, then we want to come uh, here after the user has made their uh, play, let's say. Yeah. So as you can see, it's really basic. He discusses the code. He plays around with it live. So but he's writing it all live. Like pep. But in general. Mm score that would be that's tabbed over uh, since Python doesn't use practically the closing square bracket to is this just they say game board well game board. yeah so this is part of the series about really basic Python usage that's great highly recommend it if you're a beginner on the other hand you can find movies like this so this is about recurrent neural networks deep learning with Python um, and he's also writing code live so I already find a fragment about where he's writing the code uh, for TensorFlow Keras. Let's begin with some imports. So import TensorFlow as T jerk. Always does this to me. Import TensorFlow as TF. Fix that. Then so I think it's really cool that he's programming live and you can see him and hear him typing uh, live with everything he's saying. So that's really, really cool. We're going to go from uh, tensor, tensorflow.keras.models. We're going to import the sequential type of model. From tensorflow.keras.layers, we're going to import the dense layer. One, because the output layer itself needs to be a dense layer. Um, but also, we are going to end with another, like a realistic, you know, a dense layer before the output layer. Um, that's a pretty common operation to do. Uh, then we're going to have some dropout, just so nothing gets overly weighted. And the LSTM self. I am going to comment here, if you are on the... GPU version of TensorFlow, check out the QDNN LSTM cell. So even if you are on the GPU version of TensorFlow, this LSTM cell will indeed run on your GPU, but the QDNN LSTM cell is even more optimized and I, it's like five plus times faster, even though both run on your GPU. Uh, if you're on the CPU version of TensorFlow, well, then, you know, you're going to, this tutorial, like, to, this model is going to take like uh, five hours to train or something. <laughs> Either way. Okay, so uh, so those are the things that we need and... Uh, yeah, so let's get straight up. Ah, he's going, okay, maybe let's go through this example because uh, it'd be about MNIST, so the basics of uh, really machine learning. Uh, and we need the data set, so we're just going to grab MNIST real quick. So MNIST is equal to tf.keras.datasets.mnist, and then we just need to unpack it. So it's just it's two tuples, and then it's uh, x train. Y train. Yeah, so MNIST is just handwritten digits. Test, Y test. And that's mnist.load underscore data. So again, my apologies for using mnist, but I, I, I think it's better to do it, make this one as basic as possible, and then in the next one we'll get in. Because honestly, it would take us, it's probably like the next one's probably going to take us two, three, maybe even four parts uh, just to get to, okay, now feed it through the neural network. And that's the easy part, really. Feeding it through is, is not too hard. So, uh, so for example, let's do uh, let's just do a print x train dot shape. 
and then we should be able to, dedu to deduce this uh, from uh, the above, but x train, and let's just get the first sample dot shape, just so we can get an idea of what we're dealing with here. So, um, so we can see we got 60,000 examples of 28 by 28 images. And of course, the zeroth element is just 28 by 28. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. It's, it's really nice that he's commenting live. Um, he's trying to build the model right now. I might be, I want to skip it to the end. But it's really great that he's writing it all live, actually. Um, yeah, so there's model feed, okay. Uh, there's even errors on screen while he's running it, so he's, it's fun correcting everything. Okay, so the training started, I guess. Oh, yeah. All right, and we are off, we are learning. The accuracy does not look very good. Uh, but you can see how slow this is. Like the Yeah, so maybe it is slow, so maybe let's go faster. He's still training, 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 training. Let's see the result in the end. Oh, probably stopped oh no, it. We were pretty deep into that one, and it was like two, two minutes and 30 seconds to go, uh, whereas these entire epochs are taking 13 seconds. <laughs> that's, that's, that's crazy. Um, okay. Yeah, that's faster. So I think we're only going to run for three epochs, so I guess I'll just let this one finish. Um, good. Done. So validation, so accuracy here, 97.73. Validation actually did better. 90. Yeah, so it's really great. As you can see, he's training life. He's doing things like he uh, he's not scared of doing mistakes and actually he's making them. So it's really great of showing you how the data scientists actually work. So let's have to look at a couple of other examples. Um, you can have a look at the playlist. In the playlist, you, you will find uh, his courses. Uh, there's a, a lot about uh, the reinforcement learning, uh, deep learning, and that's really, really great. So I guess he's a fan of, um, uh, of uh, driving, and there are a couple of things involved. Uh, so for example, he created this bot, uh, which is uh, driving uh, a car in a, uh, in a GTA, in a game. Uh, GTA 5 and it's really great uh, but let's have a look at this one what's going on everybody and welcome to a video slash tutorial on um, I'm just gonna be poking around the Carla uh, library thing uh, if you're not familiar with Carla I don't imagine many of you guys are it's an open source simulator for autonomous driving research okay so uh, basically what it does is creates a simulated environment specifically dedicated toward people who want to train self-driving cars. Uh, so historically I've always used Grand Theft Auto for my shenanigans, uh, but this has certain benefits. Of yeah, so I guess that's the video after he did uh, the videos with GTA and it was really great uh, what he did with GTA. So really if you haven't seen that before you should check it uh, also, I might have a look later on. Uh, it should probably some somewhere in the suggested videos uh, over there, I guess. Uh, yeah, how to yeah. Let's so have a look that, at that later. It's just basically built from the ground up to have an API for you to do all kinds of automated uh, trial and error kind of stuff, and so it just kind of makes sense. Uh, the last time I looked into it was like two years ago. <laughs> Um, and I don't think I even got off the ground with it. I forget exactly the issue. I think I could run the simulation but not connect to it or something. It was some sort of strange thing going on there. So I thought I would take another look into this uh, kind of package here and then share with you guys the steps that I take. Yeah, let's have a look later on what he's doing. Uh, he's probably reading documentation. So Yeah, he's even installing probably the... Absolutely. Let's try that one out. It's empty or the more likely Occam's razor, <laughs> if mono in X, I'm gonna wager, so what the heck is this? It's only looking for mono fonts. <laughs> so I'm get. Yeah, so I really like his style that he's actually very raw in the sense that he's streaming most of his, um, uh, his, his videos. Uh, he's just an expert data scientist who's doing uh, things for fun. So it's it's the best way to learn and he's just poking around with stuff, which is great and he's sharing this, his knowledge this way, which is, I think, which is really the coolest because it shows you how a data scientist really work. So at the end, I just wanted to show you his video about GTA. Uh, it should be somewhere here. Uh, 
where he's actually training with Charlie. Yeah, there's the one here. Uh, yeah, so maybe let's have a look at this one. So with the output layer weights, um, I was just doing those manually. And so I started to try to think about like, okay, well, how can we make this better? Like, cause this is a hard challenge. So then the next thing I started to work on was a closeness score where I said, hey, W isn't as, like W, if the correct prediction was, let's say W plus D, right? If that was the correct predi prediction, so. Yeah, so that's really cool. He's running, his car is running around in the corner uh, and it's really, really great. So this is what I wanted to show you in the end. Uh, I'm, I'm happy to share with you all the video channels that I find really interesting. Uh, I'm still learning how to edit and create great videos, but if you want to stay with me and uh, expand your knowledge, learn about data science, learn about machine learning, then this is the place to go. I'll be reviewing more YouTube channels, I'll be reviewing other materials like courses, books, so stay with me. Uh, I also plan to go on streaming because I really like the experience I did so far with Data Science Marathon. It's really great. So 2020 is the year of YouTube. Thank you uh, already for all the subscriptions and likes and please give me more. So yeah, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and see you in the next episode. Thank you.